and welcome to Motorboat's Monthly's Practical Section, brought to you by Garmin. Today we're going to be looking at setting up and calibrating your depth instrument. The keel offset function allows you to adjust for the depth between the transducer and the keel, the lowest point of the boat, or the transducer and the waterline. Now the reason we need to calibrate our depth instrument is because without having done so, you don't really know what it's actually telling you. The depth displayed could be depth below the keel, it could be the total water depth from the water line down, or it could be somewhere in between. If nobody's bothered to set it, it could just be showing you the depth from the transducer. Now, if you don't know how far below the water line or above the keel the transducer is, that, that depth reading is pretty irrelevant. So by setting it up, you can set it to whichever you prefer, water line depth or keel depth. Uh, and once you've done that, you know that the reading it gives you is accurate. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure what the actual depth is below the boat. We're going to do this in a locked marina, so there's no tidal problems, you know, the tide's not going to change, it's going to stay the same for the duration of this. Um, and we're going to do it using a lead line. Here's one I made earlier, uh, an old socket and a bit of string. And I'm going to start by measuring the depth just down here, because I know that roughly this is where the transducer is on this boat. Um, but I'm not just going to do it here, I'm going to take measurements all around the boat, just to ensure that the boat is sitting on fairly even, there's a fairly even bottom underneath it. Um, just in case there was a high or a low point here, that would give me a false reading. So I'm going to take at least four readings around the boat and I'm going to mark the string each time I do it. Right, so there we've got our four depth readings from all around the boat. As you can see there, they're reasonably close together, which indicates that we're on quite flat ground. What we're going to do now is we're going to measure the lowest one, which is this one, and we're going to take that as our depth below the boat. That gives us a little bit of safety margin over the others. Um, and once we've got that measured, and we know exactly how much water is below the boat, we can then compare with what the depth gauge is telling us. So we've got a measurement below the boat of 1.7 metres. Right, so we now know that this boat is sitting in a total water depth of 1.7 metres. Um, if we look at the depth gauge, that's telling us 1.5 metres. Um, now, we know this boat draws one metre. Um, you can find out how much yours draws from the owner's manual or from the builder. Um, typically for a motorboat, it's going to be around about a metre, a little bit less, a little bit more. Um, but once you know that, then you can make your adjustments depending on whether you want total water depth or depth below the keel. So now we can go into our depth instrument and into the keel offset function. Uh, you can usually find this in the user manual. Uh, and we can adjust that so that we've got an accurate reading. We know that there's 0.7 meters of water underneath the keel or 1.7 from the water line. This is telling us neither of those things, so we need to adjust it depending on which we'd prefer. We can put a keel offset of plus 0.2 in to bring it up to 1.7. That will give us the total water depth. So we've now got total water depth showing 1.7 meters. That's exactly what this boat's sitting in now. If I'd have wanted to have depth below the keel instead, what I would have done is I'd have gone into the offset function and I'd have input a negative figure. Um, because we were sitting in 1.7 meters of water, and I know that this boat draws one meter, I would want the display to show 0.7 meters depth below the keel. Um, because it was showing 1.5, what I would have done is I'd have put a negative figure of 0.8 in, uh, and that would have given me a displayed depth of 0.7, which is the amount of water below the boat. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.